All right. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, all right, everyone, we are joined today by celebrity photographer Marcus Ingram. Hi, Marcus. Hey, how you doing? Wonderful. And first, I want to thank you for joining me this morning, okay. taking time out of your schedule. Yes. So, Marcus, uh, I want to start out by asking you, I know you're a celebrity photographer, but I want to know, how did you get started in photography? Can you give us a little background on mm -hmm. the, the beginnings? Yeah, the beginnings started back in high school <laughs> and um, I, I just took a fun of I took fun of photography when I was in high school and from there I think I got it from my dad because my dad used to shoot with a Polaroid camera he had come over and, and shoot some pictures around town I mean you know, in the area and then take pictures of me and and my siblings and from there I kind of took up on photography and I enjoyed it ever since Okay, so so being that you started uh, photography, tell me, was there any courses that you needed to take in order to uh, per perfect the skill? How did? What about any education? What's required uh, to be a good photographer? Well, to be a good photographer, they say you need to go to school and take some art um, art course or an art um, degree uh, that pertains to photography. But sometimes you can do things on your own. And back then, you just had books to read. You know, I'm talking, we're talking 20 years ago, basically. You know, when photography was film, it wasn't digital. And the only way you can learn is you take some classes and, okay, and you can do some, um, um, take some classes and you do um, read books. So from there, that's how I perfected it. Uh, I did take some classes through a community college. Uh, black and white film. I did the, the black and white developing, and then I also did picture taking. Mm -hmm. but it was all black and white. Uh, color came later on, but okay. in order to learn photography, you learn from scratch, and that's black and white film. And in the processing is where you want to start. And then from there, you know, I just kind of practice, just taking pictures of things and people, and, mm -hmm. and kind of develop my craft that way. Okay, so uh, I know that you are a celebrity photographer. It, let me ask, how did you get started doing f celebrity photography? Well, it happened probably around a good five years ago. Um, I used to do a lot of red carpets. Well, I still do red carpets, but I started off doing red carpets during the Super Bowl. So every year during the Super Bowl, I would do different events like the Maxim red carpet. Um, I did the gospel celebration. So just different parties, different events that was going on throughout the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And from there, just taking pictures of different people, celebrities, and from there, and kind of build a rapport. And, mm -hmm. and now I'm, you know, doing a lot more red carpet here in Atlanta. And okay. it's, it's exciting, you know, and sometimes I can get them in the studio. And, mm -hmm. and that's my goal, is to bring okay. them in the studio and get some really good shots. Oh, wonderful. So, mm -hmm. so let me ask, uh, is there any one particular celebrity that you have photographed and it just made you say, wow, I'm actually shooting, you know, blah, blah. So was there any one particular one? Well, actually, I have a couple. And they're okay. ladies. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one is Janelle Monet. Oh, wow. I took pictures of her on red carpets and um, a couple of events. She had a private party and got some nice shots of her. And okay. it's just that her makeup is just perfect, you know. So when you get pictures of her, it's just the photographs just look good. You know, you don't have to touch it up or anything like that. Wow. So, and then there's um, another young lady. Um, oh, I can't think of her name right now. But she's in Saints and Sinners, and I take pictures of her all the time when she's on the red carpet. Okay. But I don't know why her name is drawing a blank right now. That's okay. It'll come back to you. Oh, yeah. So, so let me ask this: When you're on the red carpet, when the celebrities are on the red carpet, is there a technique or is there any uh, particular tips that uh, you can give us in terms of you know the way to pose, the right way to look into the camera for just regular people? Uh, what are some good tips that you can offer? Well, the best tip is to be nice and say hello. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and call them by their name. They, they're okay. excited about that. You know, when you call them by their name, they're like, okay, 
they know me, you know. Right, and, right. And, and you get them to pose your way and just tell them how beautiful they are and give wow. them a big smile. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's about, you know, talking with them okay. you know, on the red carpet and, and ah. getting their attention. Okay. And once you get their attention, they're looking straight at you and, yes. and tell them you want something different. You know, okay. just don't give me that regular pose. You okay. Know, kinda, you know, enhance that pose. Okay. Another um, actress that I like to shoot is Demetria McKinney. And mm. she loves the pose. I mean, okay. She's a model. <laughs> yes. I mean, what you, what you expect. Right, you know, so, right. And she gives me that look. And, and because I see her a lot and I interviewed her a few times um, with my show that I have called Today's Spotlight. And and so she knows me. Okay. So every time I talk to her, she, you know, speaks back, you know. But, you know, it's all about just being respectful and being nice and, right. and just that simple hello. Oh, that's you know, great. Like, hey, Demetra, how are you? you right. Know? And, and you right there and say, can you give me a shot? You know, and, you know, you want to get their attention because what it is on the red carpet, you have so many photographers trying to take pictures. Right. And you want them to get that eye contact. So okay. you can say eyes right here or look at me, you know. And, right. But still be respectful. Exactly. It's so, all about relationships. Yes, I, I agree. Yes. And they will give you that look and they'll give you a pose, you know, because that's what they do. Right. And that's what you want. You want the best shot. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Marcus, for someone like myself, what, what technique should I use? Because me personally, I love taking pictures, but mm -hmm. they're not always uh, the best poses. So mm -hmm. what techniques uh, would you offer for or just a regular person that, that want to, you know, take good pictures? Well, you know, it's all about being relaxed. You know, uh. once you relax, you know, and then give that smile and, you know, kind of give a little twist in your, your body, you know, mm -hmm. and that way you kind of, um, you know, sideways, you know, if you got a little weight on, you know, mm -hmm. you want to try to look slimmer, okay. you can do that, but it's just about being relaxed and when uh. you relax, you know, it kind of gives a better picture for you. You know, to me, it's, it's all about the S curve. So okay. and, and women should know the S curve. Okay. I don't know. You know, so I kind of show them how to do this. Ah, you know, okay. Kinda, I'll let you show about, me later. Yeah, so it's all about <laughs> bending the hips a little bit. Oh. Ah. Um, and kind of move your head a little bit, you know, kind of give it a little different look. Instead okay. Instead of just straight up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Marcus, as a photographer, does equipment matter? I mean, is there uh, benefits to using, uh, let's say, a, a Nikon or a Canon mm -hmm. uh, camera? I don't think a Nikon or Canon is going to be any different. You know, it's all about the photographer. It's okay. about the report, how they communicate. It's just that photography, you can't be a person that don't communicate with people. If I you don't see. communicate with people, how can you do photography? So it's about that communication. Having a good eye, just knowing what you're looking for and helping out that person so you can get that shot. So it doesn't matter what kind of camera you have. You can shoot it on an iPhone if you want or mm -hmm. say iPhone. But just a, you know, smartphones. Right. Because most smartphones have nice quality in their in their cameras. But once you get that, then equipment does matter in a way, you mm -hmm. know, because you got a lot more features you can use on your camera. But it's about composition, getting that right shot, and it doesn't matter what kind of camera you use to get that. Okay. One last question, Marcus. Uh, how about style and technique? What would you? How would you describe your style and your technique of getting that great shot? Uh, my style and my technique. Wow, that's interesting. You know? <laughs> um, I don't know. It goes back to having that communication. You know, the, the technique is to get them relaxed, get them excited about taking photos. You know. Okay. Um, my style. You know, sometimes when I'm on a red carpet. You know, my camera takes several shots at a time. So okay. my technique is like, uh, in order to get that red carpet experience, you know, I got to take like two or three shots with the flashes flashing, you know. Okay. So it's kind of a technique that I use that mm -hmm. people gets my attention. I mean, it gets their attention that, oh, wow, I'm on a red carpet, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of neat. But um, I think that's pretty much my technique. But in the, in the studio, it's about, you know, getting them relaxed and getting them in the mindset of, you know, get some, I mean, I don't know, I just keep going back to that relaxed work, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. 
when you relax and, and then especially like in the studio you can have some of that music in the background get you moving mm -hmm. and once you start moving you you know you kind of switching up your style you know now you're getting several different shots in your picture so you may be in one outfit but you know you, you kind of moving around right and you're getting that different look okay so, so it's all about the person just becoming totally relaxed so they can just flow right okay well marcus i've seen some of your work uh you do excellent work and uh Thank you so much for taking time this morning to speak with me. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of you on the red carpet in Atlanta. Okay. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. You're I welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.